What's up guys, Banana Danny here, and I'm bringing you a brand new episode, and this time, I'm talking about the new update, Clan Wars, and everything new that just came out. So, I know my clan, we were super excited when we heard the news about the Clan Wars update, and we were psyched to get ready to go and start picking on some other clans that we had, and our first uh, battle actually went, it went pretty well, so this is my clan money team, I'm the leader. If you're interested in joining, post a comment or try to join in game. But I'll go ahead and show you our war log. So we've actually won our first two wars. So the first one we won by a lot. It was a hundred to forty five. So if you don't know much about how clan wars works, it's pretty much where there's the two sides of the war. There's your clan and the enemies. And the war is divided into two days. The first day is called Preparation Day, and that is when you basically scroll through your friendly bases and you can tap on their base and you can donate troops to them. And these troops are completely different from your regular clan castle troops. These, for the duration of the war, will always be replenished whenever someone gets attacked, but they can't use them in attacking. Now the second day is War Day, and this is when you start attacking the enemies. So we all chose our targets, who we're going to get, things like that. So I chose their number two player, Matt. And I'll go ahead and show you a replay of what I did. I actually demolished this guy's base. So he's a Town Hall 10, and he didn't have any Inferno Towers. And all of his Expos were pointing down. So the perfect... The perfect uh, victim for my favorite strategy, which is the balloon minion strategy. And if you haven't watched my video on the balloon minion attack strategy, um, I'll put a link in the description and put an annotation on your screen. So, the first thing I did, as always, is lure out their archer queen, took him out with a couple minions. Follow that up with a bunch of balloons. I generally drop them in a line and drop them in rows and then small clusters after that. So I dropped the two rage spells to speed them up to get right in on his air defenses. With those down, he now only has two air defenses that can actually pose a threat to my balloons. So I used the rage spells to speed up my balloons to get them where they have to go without taking too much damage. That's the only downside to using balloons is the fact that they are so slow. Their damage per second is really high and so is their HP, but they move so slowly that rage spells are probably the best thing to combine with them. So my minions locked onto his Barbarian King, and that's about the last thing he has standing that can target my ground units. So once he goes down, I can drop my clan castle, which I have some archers and minions in, and then follow it up with my king. So my minions just now locked on to his middle compartment, and my Barbarian King can break in there with his Iron Fist and go ahead and just wreak havoc on the rest of this guy's base. So he only has three defenses left, and one of them's an air defense. So my Barbarian King and Archers should be perfectly fine. The Barbarian King is just going to work here with his Iron Fist, which is actually a really nice ability. And he summoned up some extra Barbarians. Uh, most of them already died, but you can see a couple still there. So this raid was actually, it was pretty easy. Uh, I've had harder ones. And I got a nice three stars for my team, and I'll just speed up the last little bit. But yeah, that was my first raid ever in Clan Wars, and to be honest, it was like a whole new experience. I mean, I've raided farming, trophy hunting, and all of that, but those, there's always an option if you're going to share it. Like, if that went well, okay, cool, I'll share it with my clanmates. But this, I mean, my palms were sweaty when I was, when I was going on this attack. It was, it was pretty cool to know that what I was doing, everyone was going to get to see it and get this comment on my attack strategy and, and it was it's just really cool it's a it's a great update and I'm really glad they put it out there and I hope you guys agree that it was a change for the better uh, with Clash Clans so this is the second raid of our clan war this guy was a town hall 8 and it was it was a pretty easy pretty easy three star I mean he only had a couple minions in the clan castle and he left his town hall outside, so I don't know what he was thinking. But uh, another thing with the war is that 
it's kind of annoying to have to constantly redesign your base uh, every two days if you're going to war as often as you can. I mean, if you're a trophy-pushing clan, then that's easy. You don't have to change anything. But for a clan like mine that we usually farm, uh, some of the clan members are getting annoyed that we're constantly switching bases. So once the novelty wears off and clan wars is just part of the game, not some new thing, we'll probably go to a war about once a week. Like, preparation day on Friday, war day on Saturday, or something like that. Uh, so let me know what your clan does, if that's what you guys plan on doing, or how you're going to run your clan wars, if you have any better ideas than that. But, um, yeah, this, this raid was pretty easy. Um, just the balloons running around, taking out his defenses, and minions cleaning up the rest. So, the, the clan wars update, um, in general, it was executed pretty well. But I know that there were a lot of bugs for a lot of people, uh, including my clan. It took us about 45 minutes, I think a little bit over an hour, to find our first battle. Um, after that, we found our wars pretty quickly. Uh, nothing nothing too troublesome or anything like that. But um, I really have to hand it to Supercell that they, they made it very balanced and fair, um, especially that the loot you gain is um, like generated so you're not losing money getting attacked and things like that and that the uh, war win bonus is high enough that it's worth going into combat like last battle or last war uh, my war win bonus was 600,000 of each resource which for two attacks is really not all that bad so this one we also won this one was a bit closer um, we still took them out pretty badly but um yeah that's pretty much all they added in this update I mean I know they added a new Valkyrie level but not many players use the Valkyrie it's mostly hogs at this level and that's another thing is the the hog riders probably will be nerfed at some point or at least st even if it's slightly like a little bit of a HP decrease or movement speed or something but, um, yeah, that's probably going to wrap it up for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll try to get another video out tomorrow or this week, and I'll probably do a sort of a let's play, and I'll talk about some of the attack strategies and how I'm rating up here in Crystal 1. Almost to Masters. If I get there, I'll share it with you guys and all that good stuff. So, thanks again, and I'll see you guys later.